In this video, I'll show you a formula that counts unique distinct records. And here I have a table with the records. And uh, I'm going to use the COUNTIFS function to build the formula that counts unique distinct records. Uh, so I want to begin with the COUNTIF function because it's similar but easier to understand. So the COUNTIF function counts a value in a cell range and in this this the cell range is b3 to b9 and the value is in b9 so how many times is bike in this cell range here seven times one two three four five six seven and the count if function allows you to enter more than one value in the second argument. So if I extend, if I change this to B3, B9, the same cell reference as in the first argument, the counter function returns an array of values because you have multiple values in the second argument. And I have to extend this formula to cells below so I can see all the values in the array. And it tells me that this value here it exists seven times in this cell range here. And this value here exists seven times in this cell range here. So if I change this to bikes, it now tells me that this value here exists only once in this cell range here, but this value here exists six times. And the COUNTIFS function allows you to do the same thing, but with multiple criteria. And the first one is this cell range here, and I want to know if this value here, how many times it exists in this cell range. And then the second criteria is this, this cell range here, and I want to know how many times this value here exists in this cell range. And the third criteria is this cell range here and the value I want to look for is this and the COUNTIFS function then counts how many times this value is found here and this value is found here and this value is found here except that they all must match and Let's see how many there are there. There are two. So it counts itself and it also counts another one and it's down here. You can see that they are a match. So the formula returns two. And we can do the same thing with the COUNTIFS function. So if I change the second argument to multiple values and the second criteria to multiple values and the third criteria and this will return a, an array And it returns the same number of values as there are values in the condition 
the criteria arguments. And this tells us that this record here exists twice in this table here. And this one is a unique value because it exists only once. And so on. So this allows us to count unique distinct values. And to do that, I'm going to copy the formula so far and divide one with the array. and then extend the formula to cells below so we can see all the values in this array and this record here exists down here also and if you sum these values you get one so it counts unique distinct values so the last thing to do is to use the sum product function. And in this case, it allows us to enter the formula as an irregular formula. So copy this, paste it, ending parenthesis, and press enter. And now it tells me that there are five unique values, unique distinct values in this table here. And if I change this to bike again, it tells me that there are four unique distinct records. And to prove that there are four unique distinct records in this table here, I have extracted them here. And you can see that there are four records.